Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about eponyms in ophthalmology. An eponym is a medical condition named after a person. Eponyms are frequently asked in multiple choice questions and quizzes. In this video, we will be seeing various eponyms in ophthalmology. The first eponym which we will be discussing is Icardi syndrome. It is an X-linked disorder. The ocular features include microphthalmia, chorioretinal lacunar defects and colobomas. These pictures show fundus images of chorioretinal lacunae in a case of Icardi syndrome. The systemic features include agenesis of corpus callosum, infantile spasms, mental retardation, vertebral and rib malformations. Next is Allergy syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. The ocular features include posterior embryo toxin, which is shown in this picture. Other features include optic disc drusen, pale fundi which are depicted in these pictures and hypertelorism. Hypertelorism means increased distance between the two orbits. The systemic associations of allergyl syndrome include cholestasis, jaundice, hepatomegaly, butterfly vertebrae and congenital heart disease. Next is Alport syndrome. It is a disorder of type 4 collagen alpha chains. Ocular features include anterior lenticonus which is shown in this picture, anterior polar and cortical cataracts and fleck retina. The systemic features include sensory neural deafness, hematuria and renal disease. Next is alstom olsen syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. The ocular features include cone rod dystrophy with features of retinitis pigmentosa, posterior subcapsular cataracts. This, this picture is a fundus autofluorescence image of a case of alstrom olsen syndrome showing attenuated blood vessels and RPE changes. The systemic features of alstrom olsen syndrome include diabetes mellitus, sensory neural deafness, nephropathy, obesity and acanthosis nigricans. Next is Apert syndrome. It can be autosomal dominant or sporadic. This picture shows a case of Apert syndrome. As you can see, there is hypertelorism and proptosis. Other features include strabismus, keratoconus, ectopia lentis, congenital glaucoma, and optic atrophy. The systemic features of Apert syndrome include craniosynostosis, syndactyly, broad distal phalanx of great thumb or toe, and mental handicap. Next is Arnold Chiari syndrome. It is a group of congenital malformations involving brain stem, cerebellum, upper spinal cord and surrounding bony structures. This is MRI image of a case of Arnold Chiari syndrome showing herniated cerebellum. It may cause hydrocephalus and cerebellar signs which can manifest as nystagmus or ataxia. It may be associated with syringomyelia. The patient can also have diplopia. So the ocular features of Arnold Chiari syndrome include nystagmus and diplopia. Next is bardet beadle syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition and the genes involved encode for proteins of BBSOM. It is a ciliopathy characterized by retinitis pigmentosa, polydactyly, hypogonadism, obesity, microcephaly, nephropathy and reduced IQ. This picture shows fundus image of a case of bardet beadle syndrome showing retinitis pigmentosa. These are clinical images of a case of bardet beadle syndrome showing polydactyly, hypogonadism, obesity. In Lawrence Moon syndrome, there is no obesity or polydactyly, but other features of bardet beadle syndrome are seen. The next is Batten disease. It is also known as neuronal steroid lipofuscinosis. It is an autosomal recessive condition. The ocular features include bullseye maculopathy, pigmented retinopathy, and optic atrophy. This picture shows pigmented retinopathy in a case of Batten disease. The systemic features of Batten disease include epilepsy, metabolic disorder resulting in neurodegeneration and the life expectancy of a patient with Batten disease is less than 25 years. Next is basson conswick syndrome. It is also known as A-beta lipoproteinemia. It is an autosomal recessive condition. In this condition, there is deficiency of triglyceride transfer protein. The ocular features include retinitis pigmentosa and cataract. The systemic features include spinocerebellar degeneration, steatoria and acanthosis of erythrocytes. These are fundus images of a case of basson conswick syndrome showing retinitis pigmentosa changes. Next is Bloch-Schulzberger syndrome. 
it is also known as incontinentia pigmenti it is an x linked dominant disorder it is lethal to males the ocular features include abnormal peripheral retinal vasculature which is shown in this fundus image gliosis and tractional retinal detachment the systemic features of this condition include abnormal teeth cutaneous pigment walls and cns anomalies next is bone wheel disease it is also known as tuberous sclerosis it is an autosomal dominant condition the ocular features include retinal astrocytomas which are shown in these images the systemic features include adenoma sebaceum which is shown in this picture there will be white macules which are ash leaf spots there can be multi organ hematomas cardiac rhabdomyomas phacomatosis with neurocutaneous features next is brown syndrome it is a mechanical restriction syndrome brown attributed this condition to superior oblique tendon sheet it arises from structural or developmental abnormalities of superior oblique muscle or tendon or trochlea leading to limitation in direction of its antagonist that is the inferior oblique due to apparent failure of relaxation of superior oblique brown syndrome is mostly congenital and usually improves by 12 year of age in brown syndrome there is limited elevation in adduction plus or minus pain or click in initial stages there will be pain click often occurs during resolution these are gaze images of a case of brown syndrome if you notice there is limited elevation in adduction next is cogan syndrome it is idiopathic it is probably autoimmune the clinical features of cogan syndrome include interstitial keratitis sensory neural deafness tinnitus vertigo and systemic vasculitis including life threatening iotitis this picture shows interstitial keratitis in a case of cogan syndrome next is cruzen syndrome it can be autosomal dominant or sporadic the features of cruzen syndrome include craniosynostosis maxillary hypoplasia prognathism and hooked nose these are clinical images of cruzen syndrome the ocular features include proptosis strabismus micro or megalocornea iris coloboma cataract ectopia lentis and glaucoma next is dedal syndrome it is an autosomal dominant condition the clinical features of dedal syndrome include posterior embryo toxon anterior chamber defects congenital heart defects and butterfly vertebrae this is a clinical picture of dedal syndrome next is de morsier syndrome optic nerve hypoplasia can be seen in de morsier syndrome other features include midline brain abnormalities including absence septum pellucidum and corpus callosal hypo or aplasia de morsier syndrome is also known as septo optic dysplasia the triad of de morsier syndrome is optic nerve hypoplasia absence septum pellucidum and pituitary dwarfism <coughs> next is down syndrome it occurs due to trisomy 21 the incidence is 1 in 650 live births the ocular features include upward slanting palpebral fissures hypertelorism epicanthic folds ectropia and blepharoconjunctivitis other features include myopia and astigmatism strabismus and nystagmus keratoconus brush wheel spots and cataracts this picture shows brush wheel spots this picture shows cerulean or blue dot cataract in a case of down syndrome there can also be hypoplastic disc next is duan syndrome it occurs due to aberrant coinnervation of lateral rectus and medial rectus by the third cranial nerve it may be associated with sixth nerve nucleus hypoplasia it is usually sporadic the clinical features of duan syndrome include retraction of globe with reduction of palpebral aperture on attempted adduction which is shown in this clinical image there can also be up or down shoots on attempted adduction in this case there is upshoot on attempted adduction the systemic associations of duan syndrome include deafness golden heart syndrome klippel feel sorry klippel feel syndrome and wildervang syndrome wildervang syndrome includes duan syndrome klippel feel syndrome and deafness there are two classifications of duan syndrome one is huber classification and the other is brown classification next is edward syndrome it occurs due to trisomy 18 it is the second most common autosomal trisomy after down syndrome the ocular features of edward syndrome include epicanthic folds blepharophimosis ptosis and hypertelorism
These are clinical images of Edward syndrome. Other ocular features include microphthalmos, corneal opacities, congenital glaucoma, and cataracts. There can also be uveal colobomas. The systemic features of Edward syndrome include failure to thrive, small chin, low set ears, overlapping fingers, and rocker bottom field. There can also be congenital heart defects and renal malformations. Next is Fabry disease. It is an X-linked disorder. It occurs due to alpha galactosidase A deficiency. The ocular features include vortex keratopathy, which is shown in this picture, cataracts, which can be posterior cortical and granular, conjunctival and retinal telangiectasia. Systemic features of Fabry disease include peripheral neuropathy with painful Fabry crisis, renal failure, angiokeratoma corporis diffusum, and lymphedema. Next is Foster Kennedy syndrome. In this case, there is ipsilateral optic atrophy due to compressive optic neuropathy with contralateral disc swelling from raised intracranial pressure. This picture shows Foster Kennedy syndrome. If you notice, there is an intracranial space occupying lesion causing ipsilateral compressive optic neuropathy and contralateral disc swelling due to raised intracranial pressure. Next is Foveal syndrome. In this case, there is lesion of lateral pons that is in this region resulting in ipsilateral facial paresis and horizontal gaze palsy towards the side of lesion. There will also be contralateral hemiparesis. Next is Gardner syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition affecting the APC gene. It is a variant of familial adenomatous polyposis with bone cysts, hematomas and soft tissue tumors. The ocular features include atypical congenital hypertrophy of retinal pigment epithelium which is shown in these fundus images. Next is Gauchos disease. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is a lysosomal storage disorder due to beta glucocerebrosidase deficiency. The systemic features include visceromegaly or neurodegeneration. It is also associated with supranuclear palsy. This montage fundus image shows pre-retinal white dots in a case of Gauchos disease. Next is Gerstmann syndrome. It is dominant parietal lobe lesion resulting in finger agnosia, right or left confusion, dysgraphia and acalculia. It may be associated with failure of ipsilateral pursuit movements. Next is Gillespie syndrome. It is a variant of aniridia which occurs due to Pax6 mutation with mental retardation and cerebellar ataxia. This picture shows a case of Gillespie syndrome. Note the aniridia. Next is Goldenar syndrome. It is a part of spectrum of hemifacial microsomia. The features include corneal hyposthesia, Duan syndrome, iris and upper lid coloboma, accessory auricle, limbal dermoid, hypoplasia of face and vertebral anomaly. These are clinical images of Goldenar syndrome. The first two pictures show hypoplasia of face and this picture shows limbal dermoid. Next is Goldman Favre syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is also known as enhanced Escone syndrome. The ocular features include optically empty vitreous, retinoschisis, macular changes and peripheral pigmentary retinopathy. This is a fundus image of Goldman Favre syndrome showing peripheral pigmentary retinopathy. Next is Gordon syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. The clinical features include multiple basal cell carcinomas which can involve the eyelids as shown in this picture. Other features include jaw cysts, skeletal abnormalities and ectopic calcification. The other ocular features include hypertelorism and prominent supraorbital ridges. Next is Gradinigo syndrome. In this case, there is sixth cranial nerve palsy pain in 5th cranial nerve distribution and otorrhea. Gradinigo syndrome is a secondary to otitis media and apex involvement of the petrous part of the temporal bone. This picture shows Gradinigo syndrome. As you can notice, there is 6th nerve palsy. Next is Gronblatt Strandberg syndrome. It is angia streaks associated with pseudoxanthoma elasticum. This picture shows a case of Gronblatt Strandberg syndrome. As you can notice, there is pseudoxanthoma elasticum along with Angioid streaks. Next is Hallerman Steve Francois syndrome. The features include 
Mycroft Almos, Cataract, Hypotrichosis and Blue Sclera. These are clinical images of Hallerman Streif Francois syndrome showing Mycroft Almos. The systemic features include dyscephaly and short stature. Next is Hereford Waldenstrom syndrome. It is also known as Eviopyrotid fever. It is presentation of sarcoidosis with fever, parotid enlargement, and uveitis. This picture shows Hereford Waldenstrom syndrome. The triad is 11 facial palsy, parotitis, and uveitis. Next is Hermansky Pudlock syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. In this case, there is type 2 oclocutaneous albinism with platelet dysfunction, pulmonary fibrosis and granulomatous colitis. These are clinical images of hermansky pudlak syndrome. If you notice, there is cutaneous albinism and ocular albinism along with pulmonary fibrosis. Next is Casabac merit syndrome. It is characterized by giant hemangioma which can involve the orbits with localized intravascular coagulation causing low platelets and fibrinogen. These are clinical images of Casabac merit syndrome. Note the orbital hemangiomas. Next is Kian Sare syndrome. It has mitochondrial inheritance. The ocular features include chronic progressive external ophthalmoplegia, pigmentary retinopathy, and heart block. It usually presents before 20 years of age. This is a fundus image of a case of Kian Sare syndrome. Notice the pigmentary retinopathy. And this picture shows chronic progressive external ophthalmoplegia in a case of Kian Sare syndrome. Next is Labus congenital amaurosis. It is an autosomal recessive condition. The patient is blind from birth. There will be history of eye poking, that is, ocular digital sign. Other features include hypermetropia, sluggish or paradoxical pupillary reflex, macular dysplasia, but fairly normal fundal appearance, as you can see in this picture. Next is Labus hereditary optic neuropathy. It has mitochondrial inheritance. There is rapid sequential visual loss in 20 to 30 seconds due to optic neuropathy. This is a fundus image showing optic nerve with peripapillary telangiectasias and pseudo edematous appearance in a case of labus hereditary optic neuropathy. Next is Leopard syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. Leopard is an acronym for lentiginous, which are shown in these clinical images. E stands for electrocardiographic conduction defects, O for ocular hypertelorism which is again shown in this clinical image. P stands for pulmonary stenosis, A for abnormalities of the genitals, R for retarded growth and D for deafness. These are the clinical features of Leopard syndrome. Next is Lofgren syndrome. It is presentation of sarcoidosis with fever, erythema nodosum and bihylar lymphadenopathy. In these cases, we have to rule out uveitis. This picture shows erythema nodosum and this is x-ray of bihylar lymphadenopathy. This is a case of Lofgren syndrome. Next is Louis Barr syndrome. It is also known as ataxia telangiectasia. It is an autosomal recessive condition. The patient presents with conjunctival telangiectasia and progressive oculomotor apraxia. Other features include cerebellar ataxia, reduced IQ and immunodeficiency. This picture shows conjunctival telangiectasia in a case of Louis Barr syndrome. Next is Lowy syndrome. It is also known as oculocerebrorenal syndrome. It is an X-linked recessive condition. It is a disorder of amino acid metabolism. The clinical features include congenital cataract. This picture shows lenticular opacities in a case of Lowe syndrome. Other features include microspirophakia, blue sclera, anterior segment dysgenesis, and glaucoma. The systemic features include reduced IQ, hypotonia, and vitamin D resistant rickets. Next is Mafuzzi syndrome. In this case, there is multiple hemangiomas and enchondromas which may cause limb deformities with risk of malignant transformation. This picture shows a case of Mafuzzi syndrome showing multiple enchondromas. Mafuzzi syndrome may have multiple orbital hemangiomas. Next is Marfan syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. It affects the FBN1 gene coding for fibrillin. The ocular features include ectopia lentis. This picture shows lens subluxation in a case of Marfan syndrome. Other ocular features include retinal detachment, glaucoma, and axial myopia. The systemic features include arachnodactyly, long limbs, and aortic dissection. Next is McCune-Albright syndrome. The clinical features include proptosis, 
and compressive optic neuropathy. These are clinical images of a case of McCune Albright syndrome showing proptosis. The systemic features include sinus mucosils, fibrous dysplasia, endocrine abnormalities, precocious puberty, and cafe oil spots along with phosphate wasting, which are depicted in these clinical images. Next is Meckel Gruber syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is characterized by coloboma, microcephaly, occipital encephalocele, cleft lip or palate, polydactyly, and polycystic kidney disease. The next is Menke disease. It is an X linked recessive condition. The gene involved is ATP7A gene. It occurs due to deficiency of copper transport protein. The ocular features include optic atrophy and retinal dystrophy. The systemic features include wiry hair which is shown in this image, ataxia and neurodegeneration. Next is Mikulik syndrome. In this case, there is infiltrative swelling of salivary and lacrimal glands. These are pictures of Mikulik syndrome showing infiltrative swelling of lacrimal glands. Next is millard gubler syndrome. It is a lesion of facial colliculus in dorsal pons. That is, this is the facial colliculus. And in millard gubler syndrome, the lesion is in this place. It is characterized by ipsilateral cranialo 6 and cranialo 7 palsies plus or minus contralateral hemiparesis. Next is miller fischer syndrome. It is a variant of Guillain-Barre syndrome. It is characterized by acute external ophthalmoplegia, ataxia and areflexia. This picture shows acute external ophthalmoplegia in a case of miller fischer syndrome. Next is Mobius syndrome. It is a rare sporadic congenital syndrome. It is characterized by bilateral nuclear 6th nerve and 7th nerve palsies and other neurological abnormalities. It is associated with bilateral tight medial rectus causing restriction and horizontal gaze palsy. The clinical features include bilateral failure of abduction. The systemic associations include bilateral 7th nerve palsy that is there will be expressionless face, bilateral 12th nerve palsy that is there will be atrophic tongue, reduced IQ and digital abnormalities. This picture shows a case of Mobius syndrome showing expressionless face. This shows atrophic tongue. These pictures show bilateral failure of abduction. Next is Neiman Pick disease. It is an autosomal recessive condition. In this case, there is deficiency of sphingomyelinase. There are three types of Neiman Pick disease. Type A has infantile onset with viscerometry, neurodegeneration, and cherry red spot, which is shown in this image. Type B has juvenile onset with viscerometry and rarely cherry red spot. Type C has variable onset. It is characterized by vertical supranuclear gaze palsy, ataxia, and neurodegeneration. Next is Noonan syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. It is characterized by hypertelorism, as shown in this image, downward slanting palpebral fissures hooded eyelids and ptosis. The systemic features include chest wall abnormalities, short stature, pterygium coli, congenital heart defects and blood clotting disorders. Next is Norrie disease. It is an X-linked recessive condition. The clinical features include retinal dysplasia, retinal detachment, leukocoria which is shown in this image, vitreous hemorrhage which is depicted in this B scan, cataract, Thysis, reduced IQ and deafness. Next is Oguchi disease. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is characterized by non-progressive nyctalopia that is congenital stationary night blindness, pseudo tepidal reflex which normalizes with dark adaptation which is known as Mitsuo phenomenon. These two fundus images depict Mitsuo phenomenon that is there is grayish yellow discoloration which becomes normal after two to three hours of dark adaptation. Next is Perinod syndrome. In this case, there is lesion of dorsal midbrain. It is characterized by light near dissociation, supranuclear upgaze palsy, convergence retraction nystagmus, and failure of convergence and accommodation. These are nine case images of a case of Perinod syndrome showing supranuclear upgaze palsy. Next is Patao syndrome. It occurs due to trisomy 13. The incidence is 1 in 14,000 live births. It is characterized by cyclopedia, which is shown in this image. 
colobomas which is shown as this image and retinal dysplasia it can be associated with microcephaly and the life expectancy is less than 3 months next is fuchs jega syndrome it is characterized by melanocytic macules of eyes which are shown in this image there can also be melanocytic macules of nostrils mouth perianal area and hematomas in small and large intestine it is an autosomal dominant condition next is raven syndrome in this case there is lesion of corticospinal tract in ventral pons resulting in sixth nerve palsy and contralateral hemiparesis this picture shows a child with raven syndrome notice the right sided sixth nerve palsy next is refsum's disease it is an autosomal recessive condition in refsum's disease deficiency of phytanic acid alpha hydrolase results in accumulation of phytanic acid the ocular features include pigmentary retinopathy and optic atrophy this picture shows fundus image of a case of refsum's disease showing pigmentary retinopathy and optic atrophy the systemic features include ichthyosis deafness cardiomyopathy and ataxia next is rilaidae syndrome it is also known as familial dysautonomia it is an autosomal recessive condition and it is common in ashkenazi zoos there will be tear deficiency leading to keratoconjunctivitis sicca there will usually be corneal ulceration and reduced corneal sensation this picture shows a case of rilaidae syndrome showing severe dry eye systemic features include sensory neuropathy and autonomic dysfunction or crisis next is sandoff disease it is an autosomal recessive condition it is gm2 gangliosidosis with deficiency of exosaminidase a and b the ocular features include cherry red spot and optic atrophy this picture shows cherry red spot and this image shows optic atrophy this is a case of sandoff disease the systemic features include splenomegaly and neurodegeneration next is shogun syndrome it is an autosomal sorry autoimmune condition affecting up to 4% of population in jogren syndrome there is inflammation of lacrimal and salivary glands leading to dry eyes and dry mouth the dry eyes in a case of jogren syndrome may be severe and it can lead to cicatrization this picture shows a case of jogren syndrome showing severe dry eye it can be primary or secondary to conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematosus next is stalker disease it is an autosomal recessive condition it usually affects chromosome 1p and abca4 gene it is the commonest macular dystrophy with two clinical presentations the first is stalker's disease and the second is fundus flavi macularis as discussed earlier it is autosomal recessive due to mutations in the atp binding cassette that is apca4 in stargardt's disease there is rapid loss of vision that is there will be diminution of vision in the range of 618 to 660 and it usually occurs in childhood there will be beaten bronze appearance that is beaten bronze appearance and yellowish white flecks as shown in this fundus picture the next is fundus flavi macularis in this variant there are flecks of various shapes at the posterior pole as shown in this image it usually presents in adulthood and there is no macular atrophy so there is no diminution of vision next is stickler syndrome it is also known as hereditary arthroophthalmopathy it is an autosomal dominant condition affecting chromosome 12q in stickler syndrome there is abnormality of type 2 collagen the ocular features include high myopia optically empty vitreous retinal detachments cataract ectopia lentis and glaucoma this is a fundus image of a case of stickler syndrome showing radial perivascular retinal degeneration this image shows beaded vitreous in stickler syndrome the systemic features include arthropathy pierre robin sequence that is micrognathia eye arch or cleft palate sensory neural deafness and mitral valve prolapse next is sturge weber syndrome sturge weber syndrome differs from true phacomatosis in that they occur sporadically the tumors in sturge weber syndrome are present from birth the ocular features include epistleral hemangioma ciliary body or iris hemangioma and choroidal hemangioma which is diffuse this picture shows anterior segment image of a case of sturge weber syndrome and this picture shows fundus image showing choroidal 
hemangioma in a case of Sturge-Weber syndrome. It can also be associated with glaucoma. The systemic features include nevus flamus of face, that is port wine stain and CNS hemangioma. Next is Tay-Sachs disease. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is GM2 gangliosidosis with deficiency of exosaminidase A. The ocular features include cherry red spot and optic atrophy. This picture shows fundus image of a case of Tay-Sachs disease showing cherry red spot. It is also associated with neurodegeneration. Next is treacher collins syndrome. It is also known as mandibulofacial dysostosis. It is an autosomal dominant condition. The clinical features include anti-mongoloid slant, that is anti-mongoloid palpebral fissures, lower lid colobomas and cleft palate. It can also be associated with dermoids, mandibular hypoplasia, zygoma hypoplasia and corneal atresia. Next is Turcot syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. It is a variant of familial adenomatous polyposis with CNS neuroepithelial tumors, especially medulloblastoma and glioma. Fundus in case of Turcot syndrome can show atypical congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium which is shown in this image. Next is Turner syndrome. It occurs in 1 in 2000 live female birds. It is depicted by XO that is there will be 45 chromosomes with one absent X chromosome. The patient can present with downward slanting palpebral fissures, epicanthic folds, ptosis and hypertelorism which is shown in this image. Other features of Turner syndrome include strabismus, convergence insufficiency, ametropia and amblyopia. The patient can also have cataracts. There can be red green color blindness. Next is Vok Koyanagi Harada syndrome. It is a multi-system inflammatory disease. The patient presents with bilateral granulomatous panivitis. This picture shows a case of Vok Koyanagi Harada syndrome showing multifocal exudative retinal detachment. This is sunset glow fundus seen in VKH disease. The systemic features include vitiligo, alopecia, deafness, tinnitus, sterile meningoencephalitis and cranial neuropathies. This picture shows vitiligo and poliosis in a case of VKH disease. Next is von hippel lindau syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. It is a phacomatosis with retinal capillary hemangiomas. These are images of retinal capillary hemangiomas in cases of von hippel lindau syndrome. The systemic features include CNS hemangioblastomas, renal cell carcinomas and other tumors. Next is Wardenburg syndrome. It is an autosomal dominant condition. As seen in this image, it is characterized by heterochromia and hypertelorism. The patient also has white forelock and deafness. Next is Wallenbach syndrome. It is also known as lateral medullary syndrome. It is a lesion of lateral medulla. Typically it occurs due to posterior inferior cerebellar artery occlusion. The features of Wallenbach syndrome include ipsilateral hardness syndrome, ipsilateral cerebellar signs, ipsilateral palatal paralysis, ipsilateral reduced facial sensation that is reduced sensation of pain and temperature and contralateral reduced somatic sensation that is contralateral reduced somatic sensation of pain and temperature. Next is walker warburg syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is characterized by retinal dysplasia, muscular dystrophy and dandy walker malformation which is depicted in this neuroimaging. Next is Weber syndrome. It is an upper midbrain lesion as shown in this image. It is characterized by ipsilateral oculomotor paralysis with loss of reaction to light and accommodation with contralateral hemiparesis. Next is wheel marchesani syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. The ocular features include ectopia lentis, microspherophakia, retinal detachment and anomalous angles. The systemic features include short stature, brachydactyly and reduced IQ. This picture shows a case of wheel marchesani syndrome. As you can see, there is short stature, brachydactyly, and microspherophakia. Next is Wilderwang syndrome. It is also known as cervico oculoacoustic syndrome. The clinical features include clip and feel malformation, that is, short neck due to cervical vertebrae anomalies with deafness and Duane syndrome. Next is Wyburn Mason syndrome. It is phacomatosis with arteriovenous malformations of retina, orbit, and Central nervous system. 
this is fundus image showing dilated arteriovenous malformations in the case of Weibert Mason syndrome. Next is Zellweger syndrome. It is also known as cerebrohepatorenal syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive condition. It is a form of severe peroxisomal disorder. The ocular features include cataract, optic nerve hypoplasia, pigmentary retinopathy, and corneal clouding. This picture shows temporal failure of optic nerve in the case of Zellweger syndrome. The systemic features include high forehead and flat eyebrows. The life expectancy is less than one year. That brings us to the end of this video. We have discussed the various eponyms in ophthalmology in this video. Thank you for watching.